Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is it that they want to tell you, but they're scared to do so. Okay, so we'll go ahead and see your what your crush, your romantic energy, your special person here, your partner, your boyfriend or girlfriend, your significant other. What is it that they want to share with you, but they're not coming forward? And what is it that's holding them back? It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. Okay, so it appears as though this connection here, this romantic connection and this relationship or this situation comes with its own complexities. Now, I'm picking up that for some of you, your romantic energy is already in an existing relationship or perhaps in a marital relationship. Um, it feels like they're attached to someone else here because there is a bit of a lovish triangle that the devil here is exuding. So they may be in a relationship, in a partnership with someone else, or it could be you. However, there is a very strong energy of attraction. There's a strong energy of emotional intensity. And it feels like the two of you are on the same page here, emotionally, um, sexually here. It feels like the both of you, in particular, fulfill each other's fantasy, um, or you sort of fulfill each other in a very... I'm going to say are both physical as well as in intellectual sense. The two of you, this person feels like the two of you are so similar in nature, okay? And this is someone who feels a very deep sense of attraction towards you. But there's a catch, of course. There's some complexities here. Um, some of them being that this person is married or, you know, is committed to someone else, okay? At the end of the day, though, this is someone who does think about you, and this is someone who, you know, simply put, this is someone who finds themselves very attracted to you, even if they're feeling guilty for feeling this way here. They feel very compatible here, and the truth behind their feelings is that this person wants you. This person wants you emotionally, physically. This person wants you intimately here. I feel like this is someone who's really keen on getting to know you or really keen on building a connection with you. And I think the same holds for you. I think that, you know, the both of you share a very mutual sense of attraction towards one another. There's a lot of similarities as well. And I feel like your person feels, so say for instance, if they're in a relationship with someone else, or even if it's you, this person feels like what you have is what their current partner is missing. And it feels like you're, you know what they share with you compensates for what they lack with their current partner, which is pretty, which is a pretty big deal, right? Additionally, it feels like this person is, they're quite affected by you every time you enter the room with them or every time you share like a very close intimate space with them. This could be someone that, you know, it could be a crush. It could be someone that you work alongside with. It could be someone that you see professionally here. Um, this person, they don't, they're scared to come forward with their feelings, okay? This person is scared to say something. They're also scared to act on their attraction towards you. Um, it feels like right now they're trying to think. Their energy state is right now they're trying to think how to best handle this situation and how to approach this situation here. Um, because it feels like the both of you... Um, the intensity and the attraction keeps growing and keeps building every time you're around each other. Here's the thing. They feel, I don't know, this person could even see themselves falling in love with you if they haven't already fallen in love with you. It could have even been a love at first sight. This person feels 
a very mysterious, a very mysterious emotional connection. They also quite can't figure you out here. So you're a bit of a mystery to, to them. And to be honest with you, that's part of your allure. That's part of your appeal. Okay. Um, the two of you have this emotional connection that feels very raw. It feels very intense. It feels magnetic. And they often wonder how that would translate to the bedroom. Okay. Um, this is someone who fantasizes about you. This is someone who, you know, has a lot of sexual fantasies and thoughts about you. Um, this is someone who finds you to be this, they feel like the two of you have this potential to be this really fun, tantalizing sexual match in one another. Um, this is someone who wants to grow, you know, they want to build an intimacy with you. This is someone who wants to get close to you. They often feel like what it would be like to have, you know, to, to feel your touch um, or to be wrapped up in your embrace. Uh, yeah, it feels like there's something blurred here. It feels like some sort of lines are blurred here or they're scared to blur the lines because it feels like there's a fear behind their attraction. It also feels like there's a dark energy. For instance, they could be guilty for feeling this way because, you know, they have a partner, but, or they have, you know, um, they're committed to someone else. They have a partner, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. They have someone else, but they're thinking about you. So when they're with this person, they think about you guys and they feel guilty for feeling or for thinking, you know, um, those thoughts, but they can't help it. Okay, there's some, there's a lot of things that they're not sharing with you and it's, they hold this in a very intimate, personal and private space, their mental thoughts, mental space. So there's a lot that this person wishes they could just blurt out to you because the attraction is building. It just feels like it's a little bit, um, you know, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is instability. And I think the instability is, is a result of there being more than two energies in this reading in this situation here and I feel like they want to take you okay this is someone you have to understand this is someone who's very drawn to you they're very drawn to your energy and yes they are very sexually attracted to you but I just want to make it clear that it's more than just a sexual or physical attraction I mean they find you gorgeous they find you very alluring I think to them you're like the hottest person they've ever laid their eyes on right but it goes beyond that because there's this emotional connection there's this intellectual compatibility and this person they've never felt this way they didn't even think this was possible and this is consuming them they're thinking about you um, they want you to take they're very drawn to you okay they're very drawn to the way that you look um, the clothes that you wear your fashion sense the way that you style your hair like little things about you this person notices um, and I'm, I'm getting that this person wants to take you to the heights of the ecstasy. Also, they're scared to blur some sort of line. So if this isn't a professional space, this person is so scared to, you know, blur the lines of professionalism and attraction here. Um, Scorpio is coming up a very strong, okay, because with Scorpio, we, you know, there's a very, like, they have, Scorpio has... A very crucial sexual nature so I'm getting Scorpio very strongly I'm getting this person is having a lot of vivid fantasies about you I'm also getting this person is a little bit torn yes they have feelings for their partner they may even love their partner but you know think a magnetic attraction they just can't help but be pulled in towards you their thoughts that you know their energy here um, they also find they also uh, feel quite empowered when they think of you here Okay, they're they're quite fascinated by this emotional dimension or this emotional connection that the two of you share here. They're quite eager to please, from what it seems. I feel like this person is quite eager to please. They're quite eager to impress you. Um, this is also someone who I feel like. I think you notice, but they always try to look their best whenever they're around you. Like, they, they, you know, um, they look their best. They look really sharp here. Um, and the other thing is, I, I keep getting lines. And I know this is complicated. And the, the more that you see each other, the deeper the attraction goes. And the more complex um, this situation becomes. But this person feels like they're really, they're tangled in this web. Um, and, you know, just going back to the blurring of lines... 
I'm also seeing that this person is blurring between fantasy and reality. So this person, you know, is slipping in and out of fantasy and reality. So the fantasy that they could have with you and the reality that they share with you. So this is someone who's blurring those lines. Someone who's addicted and consumed by you guys. Here's the thing. They don't communicate verbally. Okay, this person communicates physically. Like, they're intense. I'm getting their, their stare is so intense. Uh, they um, often give you lingering stares, am I right? It's very intense, okay? Almost like the devil. It's very hypnotic. It's almost like the two of you are spellbound to one another. Um, so look, there's so many uh, thoughts, especially so much vivid fantasies, sexual fantasies of that, that go through this person's mind and there's such an attraction and this person wants to get to know you. They want to consume you. They want to devour you, but they're holding back. They're holding back because there are certain lines here. There are certain boundaries here. Um, but to me, it just feels so intense. I wonder how much longer they could hold back for, right? Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to reach out. Bye for now.